One method of advising me how much shorter you would like your pants to be hemmed is to use an existing pair of pants and measure the inner seam, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. What I recommend is if you have a pair of business pants that you need shortened, then use an existing pair of business pants that you're already happy with the length. If you have a pair of jeans that you need shortened, then use a pair of existing jeans that you're happy with the length. So this is how you do an inner seam measurement. Lay the pants flat on a surface and open it up so that the inner seam, that's this seam that is in the inside leg, is exposed and running opposite to the other side of the inner seam. I'm going to just move it like this now for ease of recording. So we have this inner seam meeting with the other side of the leg. Just take your tape measure and put it right into the centre and bring it down to the end. Give your pants a little bit of a tug and hold that tape measure firmly and record that this one is actually 70 centimetres. So that's what you would advise me, that your business pants in a seam is 70 centimetres. It's that easy. If you don't feel comfortable to do this, or you don't have the tools to record the inner seam measurement, but you're happy to leave me with the existing pair of pants while I do the process of hemming your new pants, then do that. Just leave me your existing pair of pants and I'll measure the inner seam for you and I'll return both pants when the service is complete. It's that easy. Hi, if you have someone to help you do a pant fitting, this is how you do it. We're going to concentrate on the outside leg as opposed to the inside leg. Have your uh, model wear shoes or not, it doesn't really matter unless it's a woman who has a flared pant and wants to wear a high heel with it, then it's important to put the shoes on when you do the fitting so you can let that flare go over and touch the ground and fold it up accordingly unless she wants to show her heel and raises it up. Fashion these days means pant leg lengths vary and it really is a personal preference of where you would like to wear it. Most pants today are quite a straight leg pant or even the skinny leg jean, very tight fitting. This means that they can't go past the foot, this part here. The width of the leg is just too narrow to go past. As opposed to the days when I was younger, showing my age, and we had flares that would go over the foot. We can't do that. We don't do that generally these days. So we've got a straight leg pant here and all you do is roll it up to that preferred place. The younger ones tend to wear it up much higher, like I said, if there are short pants, they might wear it up here showing the ankle even. But I find still that about 90% of my customers will wear them down much lower and just sitting on the foot like this. I like to leave just a little bit, sitting like about two centimeters, just to allow for a bit of leg crossing. But if you like, you can have it just sitting on the foot. It really is a personal preference. So I would fold it to where you want and then have your wearer turn to a mirror so he can see it on the side here. And if he's happy with where it's sitting on the side, you can see what it's looking like. You know, the, the length is going to stay the same all the way around. So if you've got that happening, this is basically it showing where it's going to sit. All you need to do is put a pin in it. Just on the outside, show me that you've done the right thing, you've seen the video and you've pinned the outside. If you haven't got a pin, a lot of my customers even use a clothes peg. So you can just pin it like that. If you don't have any of those things, you can take a ruler or if you have the t a measuring tape and you can measure the folded area. So in this case, I've folded up five centimetres. That's how much shorter your pants are going to be, five centimetres. Let me work out how much to leave when I'm cutting to make the hem itself. You need it shortened by five centimetres to sit here comfortably. And that's it, thank you. Okay, once you have uh, either pinned or pegged your pants, or you have recorded the inner seam measurement, then pop them inside a bag, and on a piece of paper put your name, your mobile phone number, and that recorded inner seam, if that's the method you have used. When you arrive at my place, you'll find an Audrey Hepburn drop box on my front porch. 
All you have to do is lift this lid like that, drop them in, close the lid, and then call me or text to let me know that you've done that. So I'll know they're in there and I'll have a text back to you in one to two days to tell you to come and collect them from the box. It's that easy. Thanks for your business.